So in Art 1 and Art 2, uh, we work on some of the basics of art. Uh, art 1 has more broken down projects, and then in Art 2 we get a little more advanced with the projects. Within the two classes, we do 2D projects before we do 3D projects. Um, you have to have had Art 1 before you can get into Art 2. Okay. Hi, I'm Miss Hampton. I teach Native American Studies. Um, I'm in the junior high, so 7th, 8th, and 9th. Um, in our class, we cover the 10 Native American regions, and we also study our local tribes here in Miami. Um, we do STEM projects, class presentations, and I'm hoping to add make and take projects to our class this coming semester. And I hope that you join me to learn more about the Native American culture. My name is Bradley Harrison. I'm one of the assistant directors of band here at Miami. And this is for our incoming seventh graders. If you'd like to join band and did not get the opportunity in sixth grade, you still have a, that option. Uh, just sign up for beginning band. Even if you're an eighth grader, it's still not too late. We can uh, get you going and get you plugged into our high school bands. And I hope to see you then. Do you have your own fashion style? Maybe you think you do, but it might have been something that took place decades ago. Take fashion, we learn all about fashion. You get to draw and design your own fashion. So if you're really into clothes, it'd be something for you. I teach health and fitness. It's a class for seventh and eighth graders. This class is about learning how to take care of your bodies. We do a few exercises. We do yoga. We use step boards, kettlebells, do some cardio. Then we also learn about nutrition, how to eat healthy, what vitamins there are, and just how to take good care of ourselves. So if you're interested in acting or making your speech presentations better, maybe you should try speech and drama for seventh and eighth. We do a lot of fun games. We learn how to express our emotions and prep you for moving on to other dramatic things. I'm Debbie Whitten and I teach crime scene investigation. Um, we do everything that has to do with crime scenes. We take impression evidence, we study um, how you collect evidence, we make fingerprint cards, and we do latent printing. We also study about blood analysis and blood splatter and DNA and um, arson. We build little homes and we set them on fire so we can see how fire works. Uh, how fire burns, and we also watch lots of documentaries. And that's pretty much what we do in our class. Hi, I'm Mr. Pennington, and I teach Google Tools uh, for 7th, 8th grade. And in Google Tools, we're going to talk about Google Docs, Google Sheets, presentations, uh, Google Video, and Gmail. So there's a lot of great varieties on learning all about Google Docs, and would love to have you a part of this program. Come and join me. Hi, I'm Brad Homer, and I teach uh, physical education at the Will Rogers Junior High. And I teach 7th through 8th grade PE, which is uh, a course that's set up for two days of physical activity, and uh, three days we tend to play team-oriented games. Okay, so in 7th uh, and 8th psychology, we focus on uh, the mind, how it works, uh, people's different psychological disorders, if they maybe have them. Uh, we also uh, watch a, a documentary of uh, three identical strangers, that's the name of it. They were separated at birth, they found each other after 19 years, and the resulting um, issues they had out of that. Uh, now, that's for 7th and 8th grade, that's what we do in there. Do you like to eat? So do I. Maybe you want to take foodies class. We learn all about food and nutrition. We cook a lot. We experiment with things. And overall, it just may change your whole attitude toward food. Hi, I'm Zach Gardner. I teach the high school edition of sports performance. Um, these classes are designed to make you a better student athlete and give you an elective credit throughout the day. Uh, Coach Homer does the junior high edition. Um, prerequisites for these classes are you must be engaged in a sport and you must have coach and teacher approval to be in the classes. Um, so if you want to be engaged and stay active throughout your day and become a better athlete, this is something for you. I'm Mrs. Lamb and I teach ukulele and guitar class. Um, ukulele class is a class where you are able to take a ukulele home and practice at home. It is an independent study class. 
So the more you work at home, the faster you learn and the more songs that you can learn. But I start you out on the same song and teach you what you need and then I allow you to learn other songs. Sometimes we have enough room to allow for some students who already know how to play ukulele to come into the class and learn to play guitar. So um, if I have enough space, then I'm able to get some kids to play guitar the second time through the class. Other than that, we can't have anybody who's retaking the class because it's just such a popular class. Hey, facts class is called Family and Consumer Science. We learn a lot of basic things about life. We learn what kind of career we might be interested in, what colleges we want to go to, how to parent, how to find the love of your life. So all kinds of basic life skills. I'm Mrs. Lamb and I teach 7th and 8th grade choir. Um, in choir we do lots of things but we have um, a uh, need for students to learn how to sight read music and so we work on that every day and then we sing a lot of songs. We help with the Veterans Day Assembly and we will do several pieces there with the high school choir and then we will have a high school um, slash junior high Christmas concert and then in the spring we like to go to um, travel to Oklahoma City and sing the national anthem for a blues game. We will take a choir trip and we will have a spring choir concert. So lots of things happening in junior high choir. My name is Miss Bergman. I will be teaching 7th, 8th, 9th through 12th grade. We'll be teaching a uh, intro to agriculture for 8th and 9th grade and then I will be also teaching animal science, ag communications, and ag business. So it's a common misconception that you have to have livestock or be raised on a farm or a ranch in order to be in agriculture, but that is completely and totally far from the truth. So if you have any interest whatsoever, leadership, um, business, communications, if you're interested and you want to learn about animals, um, it's really just a fun organization to be a part of. If you take ag classes, you're also an FFA member, so it's a really neat leadership organization for students to be a part of.